Hi guys, the date is currently the 17th of August 2020 and um, we have just finished our first kind of proper lesson with our National 5 and higher class. Um, it was a good lesson today, um, we moved on We're at the moment because of Corona, we are limited in the sports that we can do so given that we wanted to focus on a team sport, we did a bit of ultimate frisbee today and um, focusing specifically on decision making as a factor and how that can both positively and negatively impact our performance. And the key things that we did today, um, from the previous lesson we carried this sheet forward. You'll see here that this is our player contract and I asked you to put your name, the two sports you would like to do for your own performance, as well as a number of things which you agreed to do before signing at the bottom. So I'll just read them to you. So you have agreed, if you have taken my class and you have signed this sheet, you have agreed with me that you will complete all work, including homework, to the best of your ability and hand in on time. You will bring your PE kit and come suitably prepared for all aspects of the course. Um, you realise that being assessed, that you are being assessed in two different one-off performances and it is your responsibility, although I can help you, it is ultimately your responsibility to make sure that that happens and to organise that. And the fourth thing, I realised that study support sessions, so this is you saying that you realise that study support sessions will be on offer at key times throughout the year. Um, you don't have to come to them, but that you realise that if you do, it will really help you. I am a firm believer with this National 5 in our higher course that the amount of work you put into the course is exactly what you will get back in return. So if you come to this class and you don't put in very much effort, you're probably not going to get very much out of it. It's totally up to you and your responsibility. What you put into this course, you will get. So if you're looking to do higher and you're looking to access the highest mark as you can in the exam, it's up to you what you put in. Same in National 5 for the portfolio. The more you listen, you grasp what we're learning, you focus when we're in class and you put time and effort into creating quality answers, will mean that you access the highest marks possible in your National 5 portfolio. And that is exactly what I want for you. Just to go over quickly what the courses look like, National 5 and higher, this is currently 2020, just in case this is used in future years, National 5 and higher both have two parts to the course. So first of all, there is the theory element, and that's weighted at 50% for both courses. There is also your one-off performances. So in both higher and National 5, you will do two one-off performances, and it's completely up to you what performances you do it in, I can guide you, I can have a look at, we've obviously already discussed and kind of put down what sports we're going to do, but I will have a look at them, discuss them with you and make sure that we really are doing the best thing for you. It's going to help you to access the highest marks possible. Um, in terms of what we're doing today, we had a kind of recap, which should have been for definitely the higher people, definitely a recap um, for the National 5 folks. Um, you should have done this in S3 elective and be aware of this. If you're not, then you really need to kind of be switching on. So this is, right here, our PE cycle of analysis. I'm hoping that you can see that. Um, and this is kind of how we would go through developing our performance. So what we'll find in National 5 and Higher is that the course is really specifically designed around you. So if you are a footballer, a basketballer, a gymnast, a trampolinist, a dancer, the course is designed around you, your own performance, and how you can develop that. And if we look on this side here, we can see that if this is you in the middle here, it's not particularly well drawn, but hopefully it'll make sense to you, um, you see that we've separated our performance, so this is us as our performers, we've separated our performance into four parts. So we've got mental, emotional, social, and physical. And these four parts um, are what make up our whole performance, our whole kind of attributes and qualities that make us the performer that we are. And each of these factors have sub-factors underneath them which add up to make what is effectively the whole National 5 in the higher course. So for example, physical, you've got things like CRE, strength, um, agility, speed, they are all involved in physical. But we don't want to worry about that too much just now. We will look at that more in depth as we go on. The only other thing that I want you to be aware of is to kind of grasp the bigger picture of what's going on here in the National 5 and Higher course. Again, it's all about you. 
This course is designed to make you better. And the question I should be hearing you ask right now is, how do we do that? So there's a thing called the cycle of analysis. And what we do first, the first step, is that we collect data. So if we take, for example, we were speaking today about CRE in Ultimate Frisbee, which was the sport we have to do as a sound due to Corona. So the first thing we would do about our performance is we would collect data. So let's imagine it was the physical factor we were looking at and CRE. So if we were collecting data, we might do a bleep test. We would then take the results from that and we would analyse them. We'd work out kind of how good, how bad we were at it. Um, from there, we would create and carry out a training programme and that would involve different ways which would improve our CRE. And finally, we would evaluate. So that might involve retesting, where we would carry out the same test that we did to begin with to retest and see if our score is higher. If our score is higher, then we know that our training program has been successful and we can move on. We can look at some other aspect of our performance or overall performance to develop. If, however, um, we have a lower score, well, we know that it's not worked or if it's exactly the same, we know it's probably not improved as, as much as what it could have. So we need to look at what we've been doing, look at our training approach and then um, change aspects of it to make that better to ensure that we really do improve our performance. Thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.